Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's featured Master Nightfall, which is the Proving Grounds. I'm doing it on Dawnblade. Yes, I finally returned to the Warlock. And as you can see, there's all the fragments and aspects that I'm using. We're, we're going to be going, uh, trying to get some burn going, some some ignition, some uh, scorch and ignition going. I'm using New Purpose, Skyburner's Oath and Cataclysmic. That are the, 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 those are the weapons. Starfire Protocol is the exotic because obviously I want to take use of the double fusion name, but also it's great because if you get a, a kill with the fusion grenade, it gives you a class ability straight back, which... I believe, if I remember correctly, I'm using Phoenix Dive. I'm not using the Whale, or the Rift, sorry. So, some people might be wondering, Master? Aren't the GMs out? Well, this is true, the, the Grandmasters are out. I've done two out of the six. I haven't put them up yet because it's been trying to keep the content coming with the streams. I haven't really had time to edit or do any of that stuff because I go on holiday tomorrow. So, as soon as I come back from holiday, I've done Arms Dealer, which I've done, if you guys are interested in watching it, I've done it live on stream. Just look for the, the stream that's uh, part one of the solo GM attempts. I've done, uh, I did uh, Arms Dealer and I've done Inverted Spire. Now, Inverted Spire, actually, I couldn't believe it was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be, because normally I just want first time that. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be doing this one on stream tonight, I believe. Uh, I actually kicked the backside out of me last night and when, when we get to that part in the video I'll show you where I was getting where I'm going to have to come up with a different strategy let's just put it like that I was getting my ass kicked <laughs> that's what was happening uh, when you first come in here you're, you're going to have a bunch of ads the one thing to take into consideration uh, is there is a solar burn and there's rotating modifiers on the master, so I think with this one, I wasn't getting my abilities back. You'll see combat acceleration on the left-hand side. Uh, I had to shoot enemies from range to get that to keep going up, and the higher up it went, the faster I got my abilities back. If it didn't go up, well, it was kind of like the, the health thing, the togetherness, uh, uh, attrition, sorry. You know, if you don't get a certain thing, you get really slow health regeneration. Well, this is the same for abilities. Uh, so it'll be a different thing today, so actually, using this run will probably be easier today. Uh, so, because you've got the 25, the 50% additional solar burn, 25% outgoing solar burn, just try not to get too close to anything, really, that's that's kind of the thing, you don't want to be popping down, I mean, you, you're obviously going to have your, your class ability, and I have classy restoration on, so... When I use my Phoenix Dive, I'm going to get 10 seconds or whatever of constant, uninterrupted healing. Uh, and, and it's, you know, it's very good. So, the the second thing is, you'll see me taking them out here. I've already took two, of, well, I took one of them out, the explosion off the first champion, because I because I am obviously uh, using Revitalizing Blast, which lets out a solar blast when you, when you stun a champion. Uh, that killed the first Scorpius turret, but there are... Uh, five in here? Five in this area. There's two as you're making your way up to this point. Well, there's actually six because there's one right at the start. So there's one right at the start, and then there's one to the right you'd have seen me shoot uh, where, where there was a bunch of ads that I fired my melee at. Uh, there's a Scorpius turret on the rocks to the left. This will come up. And then there's three at this back area. Two that I've just took out, and that guy there. That's all six of the Scorpius. Now, they do do solar damage. They're going to mess you up. You're also you're gonna have a barrier champion. You see, I dropped from the drop pod earlier on. Uh, try and take him as soon as he comes out, and then you can kind of let this unstoppable run away. And 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 you know, other ads might run with them, which is fine. Uh, so as you can see, I've got I've, I now have the boss out. Once you take that unstoppable out, the first unstoppable, not the unstoppable that comes with him. Uh, this will bring out the rest of the ads. Now. This is where the strength, this one of the, this, for this for this kind of thing, and even arms dealer, there are a few strengths. Uh, I actually do this slightly differently now. Uh, I, what I normally do is, you're going to see me go, the way I take him in the second phase of this fight is the way I take him in the first phase normally. Because I've done this a few times now. Uh, the strength of this uh, is a great grenade. And I won't have anything said about that grenade. I'm just trying to get... Now you've seen there. There we go. 
Uh, I, I I have four times charm. So get if I get four precision hits with the cataclysmic, then uh, if I get four 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 critical hits, I get two rounds back. So for every four hits, I actually only use two. So that's why I kind of sweated it out to get that those four shots. So the 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 couple of great things about about the the scout rifle is a it applies scorch. So but that applies it on the hip fire. So you see there. Uh, secondly, it does more damage against Cabal. What's not to like? And the third and most important, hopefully I'll go around, yep. So where I'm going to go around here is where I take the boss's damage from. Uh, you're going to see I'm going to get up on this kind of rock to my left. Yeah, you are seeing that right. Obviously I didn't do it here. Uh... I, I normally go up to the rock just to the other side of here and and I take him from the rock because I can I can I can head glitch him here he'll get shots off at me and all that type of stuff yeah as you'd have seen the sky burners shoots through the cabal shields now this boss you've probably seen it people saying oh my god got a cheese for the GM do this against boss basically what it is is this boss does not have a stomp mechanic so so if you go up to him and just punch him a whole bunch of times with your if you're on your own or your full fire team, he cannot stomp you. And you'll stun him like every I think it's like fourth melee or third or fourth melee. So you can just stand in front of him and just punch him to death. And there you go. We didn't we didn't bother doing that. This rock here that I'm above, that's where I go and I use this blue barrier as my cover and just like happen from there. But the way I've done it in this one you guys can do it like that as well. No problem at all. So, if we this was a GM, or the way I've been doing the GMs, I could, this part's just as simple and maybe a couple of minutes longer. But just as simple on GM. Uh, now we're going to head in to the... I can't remember what this tank's called. This, the the Halfus Electus, there we go. I knew it was Electus, I just couldn't remember the first name. We're going to head into the Halfus... Uh, and I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for some jet rock. So we'll see if they've got eight foot by four foot sheets for sale. <laughs> it looks like a massive warehouse to me. Uh, so we're just we're gonna go in here. We've got three ads as soon as we get in, we'll take them down. And I'm I'm trying to utilize which isn't so great on console because of the aiming. It's it's much more difficult to hit fire consistently and accurately. Uh but if you're, if you're on M and K, well, we all know if you're on M and K what you can do. You hit, an, an, you hit a jailboat's backside from 200 feet while moving at 30 mile an hour. Uh, so the way we're going to do this part is, when you go up this uh, little teleporter, we're going to take, as long as you take one of this initial uh, team of Cabal that first come. So you get to the top here. If you take one of these guys, you have to kill one of them. I'm just going to kill all of them because, well, I don't like them. You kill one of them. Now, I unfortunately fell down here. I didn't want to fall down. But uh, now I'm going to have to fight these guys from down here. Normally, I wouldn't. Normally, I would take uh, all the guys from up top. But because I've got... Uh, just gonna cut, deal with some damage to this champion. Let's make sure. There you go. I got both of them. I got the high value target and the champion from up here. Now, the problem here is it's not really a problem. I am aware that I've I'm in trouble, right? Because I I I, I can't get any health back. But what I could do is one of these guys. I could just stick a grenade on him and get my get my Phoenix, Phoenix dive back. So I've, I've came down. I've took, took one of the champions straight away from the mid, uh, and now I've took both snipers. Now for some reason, it happens quite a lot. Uh, the snipers didn't bother with me. They just kind of, just kind of kept looking forward. And as you can see, the the Skyburner's oath does a lot of damage to every, everything cabal. So your ships. Uh, uh, ships, uh, vehicles, tanks, 
uh, shields, everything that's cabal, then you know the the the, the sky burners are gonna have gonna have something to say about it. So you should use my melee. But now the dogs coming out are very inconsistent. I just want to keep this champion broke. I'm I'm not bored about anything else at this moment in time. I just didn't want the champion to reshield. Now I can use my hip fire. And the hip fire, as I say, it applies scorch, so it will apply burn. Uh, which, if you want to spec into that, the warlock helmet that increases uh, the burn of, of, of your scorch effects, it works with this as well. You can spec into that and get massive, massive, massive burn damage. So we've still got two of the little kind of uh, these little little ships left uh, the interceptors skyburners really melts them and, and, and it is worthwhile if, you, if you're not using skyburners then what's my way but if you are using if, if you are or if you're not sorry avoid scout rifle which I'm not sure why anybody would be using void in a solar burn but if you are I'm just now looking for heavy. Be careful. With, I always leave that last interceptor because then I can do this. I can go around, look for heavy. Uh, I took a couple of snipers, so uh, I'm just going to see if any of them dropped. I I can't remember if I actually get any heavy. Uh, I always leave this interceptor up at the end just so I can uh, have a scoot about see if there's any heavy and if there isn't well I've got 13 we're all good so this is the way that I'm do I done this run there is another way to do it uh, I'm, I don't want to use my class ability not just yet I want to keep that and I've just realized it just shows I done this run maybe yesterday I I've been using Phoenix dive recently on this you know because i've been i've been doing a few runs of this just having a look at it from a master perspective uh i am actually using rift here so what we're going to do is we're going to push down here see that that's the high value target gone immediately because the grenade does good damage and then what i'm going to do is toss a grenade on there and then i put my rift down which is nothing like phoenix dive and what I would suggest is to take out, try and take out one of the back sections first. Because if you take, if you can take back left before the tank even comes out, then the tank will turn and he will expose his front to, sounded really seedy there, he will expose himself to you. Now once you take the front to, that sniper above me is, uh, Sniper above me is not playing ball. So I have got I have got a well. I just kill one of those. I have got a well. The minute it gets hairy, I can I can uh, fire a well. Or what I'm gonna do here is just hit fire. See there the dogs are out. Just uh, there's an exploding barrel there. The minute it gets hairy, I can put my well down. But as you can see, it's not really needed. This is the part I was getting my getting uh, smashed on uh, GM because unlike here, which is the way it works all the time, unlike here, the tank was managing to to shoot his shot right through there, and it was super annoying. So my grenade hopefully will chain tons of damage. Very, very cool. Now we'll just try and get some crits. As long as I'm not getting hammered off just a little guy that's... Just... It can happen. I'll just run out here. Get his heavy. Wouldn't have been able to do that on Grandmaster. But yeah, I, I came down here on Grandmaster and I managed to get the first tank almost dead. Uh, which would have helped everything. But he, they managed to shoot the rocket shots right through here, which really irritated me. Because normally they can't do that. Just make sure you're timing your 
your uh, your shots for breaking the champion's shield. Just make sure you're timing those because if you're not, then you could be here for a while just constantly breaking champion shields. And I'll just do a bit. Now, as you can see, the hip fire, I've got it pretty much down. Uh, and, and, and we've got the burn on this champion. As long as we get the burn, we're okay. Now I'm going to try and go for the finish before he shields again. I was pretty confident with how much health he had that I could get it because I didn't reload my pulse rifle. And that is it. The minute all the all the little towers and all the little thingamajigga me bobbies, the minute all them go down, you're clear. You can you can leave this area. Uh, so you want to get the closest tank to you down, and then what I would suggest is do not push. When you're over on the left-hand side behind the, 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 the two blast barriers, don't push down to the, the furthest barrier. Stay closer to the middle of them, because if you push down to the left-hand side, the tank will push up. And he's got, like, three attacks. He's got his big cannon, he's got his turret guns, and then he's got little sidewinder missiles. If you go down too close, he'll come round, and if he can't get shots on you, he will fire those little sidewinder missiles and they will come round the black barricade and up towards you and I mean the solar rockets you know, that's all she wrote now we're going to push down and we're going to come to a very unusual area I think this is quite an unusual area for a strike because uh, you can get killed in this area consistently by by something that you can do nothing about it is sheer luck if you don't get killed. That is one of the reasons I am not a fan of this strike. I don't like the tank room. I don't like the fact that everything is, you know, so in your face. But this area, you've got to consistently traverse this. If it was just one time, it would be like, oh, jeez. But considering they've made it a GM. And, and they've gave it a burn on a GM. It really... I, I think it's it's quite uh, I don't really know what to make of it actually it's annoying but it's 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 confusing why Bungie would have would have this do this by heavy these rocks I mean there is nothing you can do about them you have to constantly traverse these areas to get these orbs and there's no now Depending on what way you do it, the way I'm going to do it here, uh, I'll just toss it behind them, get these big explosions going. And you can see there, I mean, we took out just about all the heavy duty adds uh, with one grenade. Very, very good. Uh, the way I do it is I bring the orb over because it activates the door. Uh, you don't have to. I mean, you can, you can pick the orb up and drop it, but picking up the orb activates the door. So if, unless you keep refreshing the orb, the orb will disappear, you're going to have to go back and get it. If you do that on every side, you're going to have to traverse areas like that quite a few times, because you've got to make it into the middle, and then make it over the other side, and then we know that there's... Do that on the other side as well. And any one of those times, a rock can just fly up and kill you. Now, if you're doing it, I know, and I'll answer this right now, I know some people are going to say, yeah, but these things aren't meant to be sold. What about if all your fire team die from this? You know, it's it's. I I, I don't. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's exceptionally stupid that there is something in the game that can kill you in a strike or in an activity that you can do nothing about. Next to nothing. I mean, there might be something you can do about it, but you know. Anyway, I I digress. Uh, so, I, I, as I've already said, I've done this on stream, so like I've been saying in the last couple of videos, if you ha if you don't follow the stream channel, uh, it would be awesome to get some support. And if you guys enjoy the type of content I make, if you enjoy this video, this video was conceived live on stream. It was recorded live on stream, and I just, you know, I'm not a big fan of just ripping streams and going, hey, there's content, listen to me talk to my chat, you know. Uh, so, hopefully, some people will be like, oh, hell yeah, I want to see some of that. Uh, this is another area that uh, you can die when there's nothing you can do about it, except this time, you know, 
uh, you're, now you're feeling more confident because you already beat one of the areas that could have killed you. <laughs> so the, the trigger in this area, there's a whole bunch of ads that are going to come from outside. The trigger in this area is the high value target. It's either going to be like a, a heavy duty kind of one of those uh, named cabal. I'm not sure if it, if it is a legionary or a centurion. I think it's a centurion. If you kill the elite enemy over here, so it's a cabal. It's a it's a here. I just throw that there. Here is a scion. Now that we've killed that scion, we're going to get a whole bunch of ads, which includes a barrier champion coming from behind us. This is why I'm aiming over there. If you don't want those ads really quickly, uh, don't don't kill that guy too quick. Don't kill the elite over over the side that we're at now. Don't kill him too quickly. You're going to have to deal with these guys. Uh, and it, versus just your legionaries, the, the gladiators are obviously, I think every race has an enemy that's raid bar, but overpowered, right? Uh, or has an enemy that you're like, you know, it's not a champion, it's not an elite, but it's overpowered. I think the Vex now have got the Lucent Brood. Uh, Vex have got Wyverns, Cabal have got the Gladiator, and the Fallen, who have the Fallen got? No, oh, I don't think the Fallen have got one. Let me know who you think the Fallen's overpowered, uh, overpowered uh, enemy is. Yeah, well, but they have got fallen walkers. You know, Vex. Vex have got little kind of. They've got hydras, and uh, but yeah, what well, Cabal and Fallen have got uh, artillery. So maybe that's what it's. But let me know what you you guys think. So when you've taken out all those ads and then you come over here and you you slam the orb. You're going to get, these doors are going to open, you're going to get a wave of dogs, but you're going to get two champions, an unstoppable and a barrier. So again, I kind of just try and hang fire over here. Get a finish. The, the unstoppable always pushes. He's the, reminds me of an old joke uh, that everybody went to school with somebody that looked like they'd tripped up leaving the front of the house and then just kept running. <laughs> Uh, that's what the unstoppable looks like he tripped as he was running at you but just tried to make it cool by, by keep going <laughs> nope didn't trip walk this way most of the time uh, I have bait and switch on my, my uh, linear fusion rifle which I made absolutely no attempt during this run to make work but on the other run that I thought this was I used bait and switch quite a bit if you have bait and switch it is very good here. Uh, I think the reason why I wasn't really using my linear fusion rifle there is because I've got 14 rounds. That, yeah. We, the, 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 the cataclysm, cataclysmic, uh, uh, is it cataclysm? Oh, got myself that. Cataclysmic. The cataclysmic is a very, very good linear fusion rifle. It comes from Vera the Disciple. There is another legendary solar that I forget the name of, but it came from Season of the Hunt. And it's kind of high-end perk that it can drop with as high-impact reserves. Well, the Cataclysmic comes with a new perk, which is bait and switch, which is get shots off on each of your weapons. When you start using your linear fusion rifle, you have to hit one shot on that intended enemy. You will then prop bait and switch, which I think is a 20 or 25% damage boost for about 7 seconds or something. It's very good. And if, so I, I kind of was really lucky the first roll I ever got was bait and switch and 4 times the charm. Which is, I think most people would say that no, that gun would probably say I, I lucked out and got the gold roll straight away. So, when you come into the boss area, you're going to, well, you're going to be faced with the boss. But once you do a little bit of damage, you're going to get the first wave of 
of ads. Now, it's worthwhile noting if you don't know this strike or you're unsure of how, how, how the ads work. Uh, these, this wave of ads that you're getting is a repeating wave. Every time you finish DPS, you're going to get the same wave of ads. You'll get two legionaries and a, and a phalanx each side. So it's, and they'll always spawn up here. They'll always spawn this side. So it's worthwhile noting that that is what's going to happen. When you first come in, they're not here straight away. You've got to do, a, I don't know what it is, 1% damage or you know, 5% damage on the boss before they come out. Now, what I'm trying to do here, and you don't really get to see it because I never specced out for it too much, is I'm trying to apply Scorch to the boss. And if you apply enough Scorch, you start getting yellow numbers and then you start getting big explosions because if you've got, if you've modded yourself out for that, that's what you get. Now, here's the thing about uh, hip fire versus ADS. ADS, you get obviously you get crit damage, much easier to get crit damage. Well, you do get crit damage. I'm not sure you get it uh, from uh, hip fire, obviously, because hip fire is a, an explosive round. You see, there we're doing 16,000, and then we've got uh, 1,600, and then we've got burn damage on top of that. Which, if I'd had the helmet on, would have ticked for more. Try a Dawn Chorus, that's not the helmet. Uh, that would tick for a hell of a lot more if I'd had Dawn Chorus on. It would have been ticking for 7,800. And I, I prob and then I would be able to eat much easier proc. You see, I'm getting yellow numbers now. If I'd have kept hitting, uh, if I'd have kept hitting uh, the boss, if I'd have kept hitting them with, with the hip fire, eventually we'd have proc'd an explosion. Do you know something? I have never known this boss's name. Ignovan. Ignovan. Is it Ignovan or Ignovan? <laughs> so I just said it the same way. I just placed emphasis on a different word. Ignovan or Ignovan? <laughs> uh, if I'd had Dawn Chorus, you could, I would have proc those yellow numbers faster, but I had the fragment on, which I think I do have, which is apply more Scorch. Uh... uh We'd, we'd have got uh, eventually. I think I think I looked when I done it on the, the the next run. I think my solar explosions were hitting him for about thirty seven thousand. You know, so I'm still getting the same amount of damage uh, from the shots, and then eventually I just build up like it's almost like I build up a charge, and he he he, the charge explodes on top of him. To the sum of 30, 37,000. Once you get the first health bar gone, then what you will get is you will get an Overload Champion. Again, this is a repeatable wave. So, when you put the boss into his uh, immune phase, or, or his uh, cocoon phase as I call it, because he's immune, he doesn't take damage, he's safe, uh, you cannot do damage to him in that phase. So, once you get the boss into his cocoon phase, trademark, uh, you will get two unstoppable champions. Now, we're going to take the first one. Well, we have took the first two from up here. Uh, if you've got heavy, it's worthwhile stopping them with, with, with the scout rifle the way you normally would. Uh, grenade and then a couple of ca uh, linear fusion rifle shots is enough to kill him. Now, it is something I feel like I should say. Uh, as you see here, how stupid the <laughs> those orbs are. Because one of them followed me. I never managed to shoot it. And instead I decided to be, uh, be the tactical genius and jump over it. Which worked. <laughs> uh, so, we have... Taken, we have now taken the boss out of his uh, cocoon phase, so we have now got that wave of ads again. We've got the the two phalanx and two legion, uh, one phalanx and two legionaries on each side. What they will do is some of them will come after you, and some of them will be like, you know, somebody's told them there's a rave or something, and they're all waiting up the top. Uh, and and so so. The, the, as I say, some of them will push, but I mean it's it's a mistake because Sky Bonus just absolutely destroys them. And I, I I like to get them all cleared, 
so I know what's on the field. And as you can see, Sky Bonus makes light work of those solar bombs. So now it's just us and the boss, I think. So find yourself an area where you can, you can. Uh, I'm just looking to see. Are we going to get the explosion? I never seen there. And I've got a few shots with a cataclysm. I missed that last crit. I was really trying to get it, uh, which is probably what made me miss it. So I'll hit him with another grenade. The grenade's pretty cool because you see here I'm getting yellow numbers. Am I going to get the big explosion? No. Without, without, from what I've noticed, without kind of specking into it, it's kind of difficult to build up that explosive charge. So the way the immune phases work, you see now he's, he's yellow bar. Uh, it's not yellow bar? Of course he's yellow bar as a boss. I'm getting yellow numbers. Uh, I just, I just don't think I can put enough scorch on him in the time in between his shots to get. Because eventually, see the charge is building up. No, it doesn't work if you change to ADS. You've got to keep hip firing to get the the burn. And now we've got yellow numbers. Can I keep? Can I keep it up? Maybe. There we go, 37,000 that, that exploded for. He stopped firing his orb, so now I can just keep pinging him. And there's no, there's no cooldown on it. As long as you keep hitting him, you'll keep getting it. And unfortunately, because he's so close, I've decided to trade up the, the 1,500 for the 3,000 crit damage. Now, what's going to happen here? Exactly the same, like I said, this is the repeatable wave with the champions. Something to be aware of. Oh. One out of three runs that you do here, one of these champions is just like, you know, zero Fs given. He will not bother making that walk down here. He will just teleport right down, and you'll be looking for him, and then all of a sudden, he'll appear right next to you. It happened on the other run that I thought this one was. And it was lucky I had a grenade and I had some heavy. And we managed to deal with them pretty, pretty simply. So, luckily this time, both of the Unstoppables took the scenic route. So, the explosion's major, and then we've got some heavy. It's, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, of everything, even Classy Restoration, that, the, the... The revitalizing blast is gonna be the thing I'm gonna miss most about the seasonal artifact because it just really helps with champions. So again, we took the the, the sky burners done the same thing it's been doing. It shot through the the orb. Do not bother at this point trying to fight the boss. You've got ads up, and he will be firing his his uh, solar bombs. Now what I'm going to do is just try and clear the ads that are up in the centre because like I said, if you're not around or you're not engaging in them, they will just go and congregate. You know, it's like it's Black Friday up there or something. And now he's come over here. Now this boss does have a stomp mechanic, so <laughs> it's really difficult to kind of... Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's any heavy line about. It's really difficult to uh, to uh, to get close to him to do any kind of damage. But I have a well. Now he is going to come a little bit close from my liking here. But I am going to get the four crits. Now what I should have done is I should have uh, just throw my grenade, double explosion. I'll throw another grenade. And now I'm going to have to get out of here, but I only went out because he was firing his solar bombs. And now I'm coming back, but here, he came right over to me. So what I'd done, which I thought, maybe nobody else does, but I thought it was pretty clever. I jumped up right against the wall. So he couldn't, there was nowhere for him to boot me. I was already against the wall. But I jumped above him and for some reason that, that really, really worked. 
And there we go guys, as you can see, I never actually got any exotics this time, but the very first time I'd done this, because uh, this is like my second or third one, the very first time I'd done this I got uh, more exotic, I got so much stuff on the screen it was unbelievable, but I, ended, I got I got Ascendant Shards, I got a couple of exotics, really good way to farm stuff this week. Uh, thank you for watching guys, uh, I, I always appreciate the support, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you get some good loot and learn maybe a strategy for the GM. Take it easy guys, good luck with your runs, and I will either see you on stream or in the next video.